In this problem, we're working with a collection of mutually uncorrelated random vectors. The random vectors we're denoting as the xi for i equal 1 to n, so there are n of these random vectors. Each one has a mean vector, mu i, and they are all mutually uncorrelated, and that fact will come up in our computation as we do some um, algebraic manipulations of this following expression. So we're going to start with this expression. The expected value of the sum from i equal 1 to n of xi minus mu i times the sum from j equals 1 to n of xj minus mu j complex conjugate transpose. So this symbol right here is the complex conjugate transpose. Some books write that as kind of like a dagger symbol. So whether it's a star or a dagger, those are the same thing. If it's a real valued vector, then complex conjugate transpose is the exact same thing as transpose. So depending on what situation you have, um, you'll see slightly different versions of this symbol and different use cases for it. So let's go ahead and uh, do this computation, do a little bit of simplification. First of all, instead of writing it as a sum times a sum, I can just write it as this double sum. This still counts up all the different um, combinations of this product, just written in a slightly different way. And I like this way better because it makes it more clear that I can bring the expectation operator in. The expectation operator is a linear operator, so instead of the expectation of a sum of things, I can write it as a sum of expectations. So I've written it like this. And now we can actually simplify this inside term using the fact that we have mutually uncorrelated random vectors. So let's work on that. So let's assume that we're working on the case where i is not j. So these indices i and j are indeed different values. We can go ahead and write down this term that we're working on and just write it out in terms of algebra first. We have two terms times two terms, so you just multiply this times this, and then this times this, etc. To do the first outer inner last, we end up with an expectation of four different quantities. And these are the four different pieces. So we have this expectation of four things. Again, I'll use the fact that the expectation operator is linear, so instead of an expectation of a sum of four things, I'm going to write it as a sum of four different expectations. So I can write it as expectation of the first thing minus mu j star times expected value of xi. Remember, this is a constant, so I can pull it outside of the expectation operator. Same thing on this next one, the mu i right here is a constant, so I pull it out front of the expectation operator. And then finally, both of these are constants, so when I take the expectation of constants, I just get the constants themselves. So that's what we end up with. And now we can use the fact that we have mutually uncorrelated random vectors. This, by definition, is equal to this because xi and xj are mutually uncorrelated. And that's the definition of uncorrelated. The expectation of the product is just the product of expectations. So because of that, this first term is really just the expected value of xi, which is mu i, times the expected value of xj star, which is mu j star. So I've got that. And I can do the similar thing on these last three terms, the last two terms. Expected value of xi is mu i, and the expected value of xj star is mu j star. So after I write all this out, I end up with these four terms. And then you'll notice that these two terms cancel. They're exactly the opposite of each other. And so do these two terms. So when I'm all set and done for i not equal to j, I actually end up with a zero vector. So in this big sum right here that we're working on, that consists of n squared terms, most of them are zero. I get zero every time j is not equal to i. So most of those terms collapse and go away, and I'm only left with something when i and j are the same thing. So that means I can rewrite this double sum, which had n squared terms, is really just this single sum from i equal 1 to n of this quantity. I've let j equal i right here because that's the only time when I end up with something that's not zero. Okay, So now we ask ourselves, what is this? Well, this by definition is just the covariance matrix of the vector xi. So this simplifies quite a bit. We can now write this as just the sum from i equal 1 of ki. So what we've established here is that this original starting expression is actually equal to the sum of covariance matrices for the special case when the xi are mutually uncorrelated. And that is something special to note. This doesn't always happen, but it does happen when the xi are mutually 
uncorrelated.